Hi, this is Sunita Rora and this is Long Story Short, where we summarize today's long story. It's a 2,000 word story, but over the next few minutes we tell you what it's all about. This week's story is about why Hong Kong is at a point of no return. And it's by Rahul Jacob, a former Hong Kong bureau chief of the Financial Times. As we know, protesters in Hong Kong are speaking up for democracy and for independence from China. But the inability to compromise has put the city's status as a financial center at risk. Since June 16, 2 million people in the city of 7 million have joined the protests against the government. In fact, Jacob writes, the urban legend that the Great Wall of China is so large that it can be seen from the moon now needs to be recast for future generations. The demonstrations for democracy in Hong Kong have been so enormous and so admirable that they are worthy of such a boast. Of course, as we know, the immediate trigger is a law that would allow the extradition of Hong Kong people to face trial in China. This extradition bill was seen as yet another encroachment by China on Hong Kong's freedoms since the phased handover by the British to China in 1997. The territory has its own mini constitution and is lauded for being the easiest place to do business. But in the last 30 years, the city's stock market has raised as much as one trillion for, for China, and that has increased its interdependence on China. Worryingly, Jacob says Li ka who has issued full-page advertisements calling for peace, has actually for some years now reduced his holdings from Hong Kong and invested billions in water and power utilities in the UK and Australia. Now many others in Hong Kong are also pragmatically planning to migrate to Singapore and Taiwan. Bank managers report a spike in requests for offshore bank accounts. What does that mean? So basically, the younger protesters support independence, and the Chinese have been angered by this very calls. Both sides are not showing a middle ground, are not showing a desire to work within, within a middle ground. And cl so clearly for now, the battle between Hong Kong's protesters and Beijing is already one in which everyone loses. Thank you. <laughs>